Welcome guys to FLW 91 in London, England at the Royal Albert Hall. Which uh, which uh, are you looking forward to, Tyler? Yeah, is this is a tri- tribute for our troops. Yeah. Hashtag. <laughs> Can't forget the hashtag. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we just wanted to say thank you for, you know, like the armed services, like for protecting the United Kingdom and obviously putting their lives on the line and sacrificing themselves. Yeah. And uh, well, just in case you don't know our names, my name is Tyler. And I'm Patrick. And then uh, here we go, I think Satan's up in the ring. One sec. <laughs> Oh, it's Aiden Torres. Our uh, FLW Pure Gate champion. Although I noticed he, he hasn't got the belt with him. Although well, maybe it's his security reasons. Uh, like a certain champion in another promotion. <laughs> if you get my drift. Yep. I wonder what he uh, has to say. Yeah. Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, I can't see Ned. Ned. Here we go. Well, what a statement. <laughs> I mean, kudos to uh, Aiden Torres for, you know, giving props to Landon Wildside, the crowd, and everything else. I yeah. mean, your thoughts, Tyler? It was rough. Interesting, I say. Hmm. He's, he's, set, he's showing our all off. Um, all that. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, Aiden Torres, I can actually see him doing really well in the future and yeah. seeing, like, what's going to happen next for him. True, yeah. I've, we won't find out if in two weeks' time at KSX. Oh, definitely looking forward to that. Yes. Going to be a, a very juicy pay-per-view. Oh, but I, now this, this, this pay-per-view, guys, and then it's for our troops. And we've got two final, not finals, and um, court finals. For the uh, Fallen Angel tournament. Yes, three people in each. Like triple threat. Triple threat matches. Which, uh, obviously, they'll go on to uh, face Angel in the future, like, like later down the line, to win the uh, pure women's title they'll, belt. To join Tay and Dyer. Oh, yep, and um, Beretta Long. Yes. Which we're very looking forward to. Can't wait. But what, what match are you looking forward to in this match? Ooh. Oh, any match is sorry, not in this match. Hmm. That's a that's a tough one. Um I'd probably say at the moment the uh, tr- triple threat, like with a women's match, like yeah. that we got later on. I mean, at the moment the women's division is on fire in my opinion. Yeah, I'll go. I mean, especially that. I mean, I know we keep referring back to it, but especially that match last year, back at exclusive. You know, the the six man women oh, match. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was interesting. That was brilliant. Oh, so good. Anyways, now we're on to our first match, where we got um, John Baker versus Travis Bennett. Oh, if you don't know who Travis Bennett is, you, wait a minute. I think Patrick knows more than me. Well, let's just say Travis Bennett has been a, a free agent on the European scene. He's competed in OTT. Rev Pro, Progress, and quite a few other promotions. I mean, some say he's got a bit of a cocky attitude, but you put him in the ring against someone and he'll show you what he can do, which I'm very looking forward to. Anyways, oh, and also, hopefully, depending if he does really well, he might even um, partake in the academy, like get to obviously work with the best coaches and trainers we have, work in his promo skills, and even like show the other talents like what he can do. Yeah, but true. We shall see. Okay, let's get on this match then. Here we go. Oh, here comes that stupid northerner. Oh god, here comes John Baker. Making his way to the ring. Hey, that's a that's a good time, mate. England weighing in at 242 pounds. I love how we're in the UK and even like 
to the crowd, he's a complete asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, I can't believe it. But he's never going to change. He's always going to be like, you know, the, the troll of FLW. <laughs> Where he just dis he just doesn't give a crap. Oh. That's John Baker for you. I mean, he probably sell his own mother down the river just okay. to get some gold. Here's his next opponent coming in. Here we go. Here's Travis Burnett. Hey, people in the crowd, stop doing new days. No, we're not here. Oh, here he is, Travis Bennett. And Man. his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 208 pounds, Travis Bennett. Man, he looks determined. I mean. I know it's his first time in FLW, but uh, he's definitely looking ready and excited. Uh, yeah, I, I think it suits him too. Like the music's like suits him really. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously, um, when I spoke to Travis Bennett earlier on, he, um, he he's actually into quite a mixture of music. But I mean, mostly drum and bass though, because that's his like bread and butter. Bread and butter. Yeah, bread and butter. Seriously. He doesn't like bread and butter. <laughs> Especially on warm toast. Oh, um, God's sake. Patrick, get alive. <laughs> what can I say? I just love bread and butter. But anyways, as for Travis Bennett, as I said before, obviously he's been on the independent circuit. I mean, the amazing thing is though, he's only 20 years old. I mean, you look at him and you, you would not think that. It looks like he's got a lot of experience under his belt. Although, yeah. obviously like most wrestlers, he watched um, that other company at quite a young age. And he, um, he obviously wanted to become a wrestler and he went to a wrestling school at the age of 12. Right. And after that, he just instantly blew up on the scene. Here we go. Who will flimmin' win? Here we go. John Baker versus Travis Bennett. What's your hopes for then? Who to win? Tactic. Well, it would be nice to see Travis Bennett win. Like, you know, to see the young up-and-comer. But... You never know, John Baker might pull a dirty trick out of his bag. That's bloody usual. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, punch to the gut. Oh, an elbow back to the head. Oof. Oh my god. Jeez. John Baker's not wasting time. No, he's not. Hey, lovely drop kick. Now he's... What's he trying to do? What's he trying to do? Oh, he's doing a suplex. What's he going to do? Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, for someone like Travis's size, you think he wouldn't be able to do that? No. Oh, nice elbow. Back to the head. Oh, jeez. Okay. I mean, these two obviously, you know, first time in the ring. Well, already they seem to be uh, stiffing one another. Jesus. Cut. Well, um, oh, oh, dragging what's... him again. Dragging, dragging him. It. Oh. Oh, right, right. oh, trying to go for a kick to the side. Oh, oh no. Knees to the gut. Back in the corner, there you go. Oh, no nope, way. Oh, blimey, it's a game of Look reversals. Look how tall, though, is John Baker. Oh, what the hell? I'm just here. John Baker tried to go for a baseball slide, and, well, it didn't work. Nope. Oh, Travis going for the... Oh. Okay. Go, yeah. Going for the uh, hold. Oh, really wrenching it in. Oof. Jesus. <laughs> Oh god. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, what's just, wait, what's Travis Bennett gonna do? Don't know. Oh. What is this? What is wait. this? Wait. What's he? Oh! oh. Ouch. Like I said, he's only 20 years old, and yet some of the moves he knows. Oh, go for. Go, what? hashtag, go for the thing. Oh, um, no. That wasn't even what? Mm. Bro, sort your fucking life out. Even I have to admit, the referee was a bit... Oh, slow on that. Jesus. Okay. This is old granddad. Okay, I think John Baker's realised that, oh, I can't let this, you know, punk-ass kid, like, show me up. Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, nice reversal from Travis. Oh, another Irish whip. 
Okay, well, I should sure do, Travis. Oh, it's too slow. Oh, no, wait. Oop. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, he's going for the ankle lock. Or, as, or as he calls it, the baker lock. Oh, look at that. Um, Reverse. Nice one from Travis. Can he hold on? Oh, nice push away. Oh, oh no, cool, yeah, I love it. Oh, oh yeah, no, he's trying to do cheaty moves, cheaty moves. Oh, well, Travis knows he has Wait, to win this. this. Oh, oh, going for the boot. Jeez. There's a pin there, mate. Now he's picking Travis up. No, not outside, please. Stay out, stay in. Oh, oh Travis is staring him there. down. Just oh. staring him, yeah. I know, I know you want to. I mean, it's not wrestling. I guess Travis wants to eye up his opponent, see what he can do. Oh, although not for John Baker. Oh, oh, oh. Fighting game. Slugging it out. Oh, reverse, I reverse. Oh, really punching the John Baker in the gut. Oh. I told you, not outside the hey, ring. Hey, there we go. Oh, you are idiots. Now we, now the, now things are cooking Patrick, up. Patrick, shut up. What? This is supposed to be wrestling. But it is wrestling. It's not fucking wrestling. It is outside. Okay, Jim. <laughs> I'm not Jim, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> now you just need a tennis racket. Oh, wait, what's he doing? Oh my God, he's not going to. No. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ, what's he doing? Oh my god! You're not RVD, you know that! <laughs> well, in a weird way, he's kind of got the hairstyle. <laughs> so maybe he's got some inspiration from RVD. Yeah, true point. Oh, trying to go for the chop, but miss. I'm amazed John Baker got up from that. I mean, all that weight crashing on his head. Oh, he's a northern bastard. Oh, Tyler. <laughs> what? It's true, isn't it? Oh, uh, no comment. <laughs> Anyways, oh, punches and kicks. Okay, jeez. Travis uh, going for the kick to the back. Back in the ring. Thank you, you stupid assholes right now. Oh. Oh, another punch from uh, this Travis. This is what I want. Wrestling, not fucking backyard wrestling. Oh. Oh my god, I can hear all the backyard fanboys like getting on their keyboards and coming after you. I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh no. Jesus. Travis just got busted the open. The bus is like, I want to see you bleed, boy. Oh, sorry, I thought that was. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, okay. it was but no, it was John Baker. Oh, yeah. wow. The, the action's been so back and forth, it's just hard to tell. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here because I'm a northern bastard. Oh, wait. Oh! Man, I knew Travis wanted to win, but that's just. Oh, here we go. What's he gonna do? He's getting. Oh! What? 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 Oh, no! You missed! Oh, I thought he was gonna go for one of his signatures and finishes. What's he doing? Wait, what's he doing now? Oh! Oh, straight! Taking uh, inspiration from a certain wrestler. <laughs> oh wait! Oh my God! Oh God! Taking like a swing in. He's actually what? Wow! That's crazy straight to do that. From a certain wrestler. <laughs> hey, I would say, but I don't want us to get sued. <laughs> oh, come back! Oh, here we go! Oh, very nice. Oh, well, the crowd are uh, really into this. It's only our first match. Here we go. One. One. Two, two, three, oh wow, okay. The Northern Bastard didn't do shucky fucking shuttle. Oh wow, well done for Travis Bennett. Yeah. I bet you're happy, boy. Oh, I mean, I'm always happy for up and coming wrestlers to win, but. Off that, man. Move, move, now. Jesus. Oh, man. Well, I mean... Here is your winner, Travis Bennett! Well done to Travis, I mean... Hey, what? Get back in there and put his arm up, you stupid asshole! Uh, I wouldn't be... It does seem a bit weird the referee didn't raise his arm, but hey-o. But no, well done to Travis, though. I mean, what a statement. I mean, especially... Oh, eh? Go on, continue, you going to say? Hello, folks. Oh, no, what I was just going to say was, was that, I mean, 
Damn, to beat Travis, I mean, for Travis Bennett to beat John Baker. Oh, man. What a, I just, I, I just don't know what to say. Yeah. Well, well hey, hey, that was a good match. I loved it. Ish. <laughs> ish? <laughs> what was he ish? It was back on yesterday. I don't give a fuck. It was it's outside all the time. I don't want it outside. I don't want to be ring. Oh my god. I like your side ring match. Hey, don't bother with that. Shut the fuck up. Bitch. <laughs> anyway, Thanks. here we are. This is our next match coming soon. God damn you, Tyler. Fallen Angel Tournament. Well, this is the Mr. Flyer. Which, is, which you can see here in the uh, brackets. So in the first semi-final, you've got Taran Dyer, and in the second semi-final, you've got Beretta Long. But obviously, in the quarter-finals, uh, we've got... We've still got um, Becky Saban, Cheryl Brule, and Yu Jen. That's this one. And the next one, in two matches, one match after. Oh, not after that, but this match after this. Then the next for you. Match. It'll be... We've got uh, Amaya uh, Bailey. Bailey. Then we got Jackie yeah. Kirk. Yeah. And, and then Close. Yep. And it's she's returning home from England. Ooh. Uh, it's a home country. I wonder if she'll have the uh, home advantage. Yes. But hey ho. Whoa, that's a lot of bad start, really. I think that match was quite a good match start. Really. Yeah, I mean, it definitely got the crowd up on their feet, and the, the crowd even, like, you know, chanted, This is awesome. Mm. So it just shows, like, we're getting off to a good start. And even the blood, even John Baker was. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I wonder if he's going to do anything trap posts. Uh, I wouldn't. I would not be surprised if, like, John's going to bitch and moan about it afterwards. I really wouldn't. Oh, what he's going to say? I want to change you for not fighting. If you jump, pay you have it. Well, you never know. I mean, John Baker's not the sort of type to let things go. No, no, no. That's John Baker for ya. Anyways. Let's get for let's get things rocking and rolling for our next for match. Our third match of the Fallen Angel. Ooh, juicy. Here we go. This is oh Becky Saban. <laughs> Someone's a nigger beaver. <laughs> oh, a new look. Making her way to the ring from the Shane Dynasty. Adorable Becca Saban! Oh yeah, that's what you mean. She's definitely uh, updated her attire. I think this is, I think they are using, because uh, they usually uh, tag team. Mm. But they seem to be her clothes. Oh no, I know what you mean. Like basically, it's, it's everyone be everyone in this yeah. tournament. Like even if you're a tag team partners, you still have to obviously um, face each other. If they did. Although, if I remember correctly, I s Logan, uh, she didn't win her match, so she's out. But, could Becca Saban win her match? True point, yeah, no one knows. Here comes Sherry Boulet. With her uh, enthusiasm, as always. Nice and angel. her opponents, first, from Pawtucket, Rhode Island, Cheryl, the Blueprint, Boulet. The Blueprint? I what do you fucking mean, you stupid bitch? Now, Tyler, <laughs> you know what happens if we say certain things about other members of the uh, FRW? I wonder what that is then, boy. What? Well, there's either suspension or the uh, either get fined or. Ooh. Ooh. Don't promise me that. Oh, God. Anyways, but now Cheryl Boulay looks ready for the uh, fight. I mean, yeah. do you think she might win the match? Probably. This is all even matches. We don't, we don't know who's going to win. Is anyone v anyone? Yep. Here comes Yui Chen. <laughs> and oh, I've got, she's got a new uh, try on this video. Yuri yeah, the video. Chen. The video, see? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess uh, she's bringing inspiration from, uh, like, her. Cat <laughs> I mean, especially with the cat ears on the top of her head. Yeah. Half Seems human, so. half cat. Nah, it doesn't do it. Ah. Uh, be fair though, I mean, the previous matches she's been in, I mean, I mean, with someone her size, she moves around like a cruiserweight. I know. It's crazy, really. Crazy. I but mean, hopefully this is a good match. Yeah, no, it'd be nice to see like you know, three of these women, you know, give it the all. One and... thing, I laugh if it happens. Uj wins, 
and Rebecca win Rose who wins her match and they face each other too. Oh <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that actually. <laughs> then they got some old beef, haven't they? Yes. Oh, here you go. The world. And we're, on, again. and we're underway. Classic. Oh, you return. It's got a Becker and oh, a headlock. Oh, okay. Teamwork. <laughs> oh, I need to. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. No, it didn't. Oh, DDT from uh, Cheryl Belay. Now Yuri Chain. Oh. Well, they both tried to go for a drop kick, but that didn't work. Oh. Becca uh, throw okay. it away. Okay, I've got some new style sponsorship ready. Oh, God. You ready? What's the sponsorship? WWE Hot Uncontrollable. Oh, yeah, I can say probably. Uncontrollable Flights. Oh Come. my god. If you if you want to fly with them, don't. But you have to. Because they come controllable. Please, if you want to save some discount, just put FLW slash tag 10. Done. I I, what? I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I mean it's it's a different sponsor. It's more Okay, I can get, I can get um, unbreakable bars come back again, you know that. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, as for the action, oh god, Yuri Chen kicking uh, Cheryl Belay in the back of the legs. Now Becca's just sitting there like a ragdoll. At the moment, it's the uh, eye before the storm, isn't it, Tyler? Yes, it is. Looks like they're just fighting for it. Like, I want to get the match. I want to get the match. Even Steven at the moment. Oh, some uh, nasty slugs. Oh, like right punches from uh, Yuri Chen. But oh. Some chops here and there from Yuri uh, Chen. Oh, it's quite interesting here. Oh, nice. He's able to try and dominate. I wonder what would happen if Becca won the match. True, sure, yeah. Oh, wait, she. Oh! Oh, that was a good move. Blimey, well, I she flew like practically across the ring. Oh, here we go, going for the pin. One! Oh, oh kick at one. Oh, nice kick from uh, Becca. Oh, jeez. Okay, out you go. Yep. Oh, wait, what's... What? Oh, jeez. What a flip. You oh. watch me flip. You watch me hey, hey. Oh. Watch me flip, flip. Watch me hey, hey. Oh, God. Oh, wait, here we go. One, two. Oh, a one and two. Oh. That was one and a half. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, the way that looked, I thought Yuri was, was gonna kick both Cheryl and Becca. Okay. Oh. Let's fight. What? Oh, here we go. Oh! oh. Going for a stunner. Where's she going? Oh, uh -oh. I think Cheryl's gonna fly. Here she we go. Fly. Oh, no, wait. Oh! <laughs> Jeez! Legs onto the stomach. <laughs> All right, there, Joker. <laughs> that flaming missed you, stupid Cheryl fucking bullet. Uh, oh no, wait. Did she get ice tested? Wait. Uh, it looks like she's gonna try one more time. Ah, oh, if this misses again, I'm gonna laugh again. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Such an asshole, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ashby. <Aspie. laughs> oh God. You stupid black hair woman. <laughs> Anyways, Cheryl's now picking up for Yuri Chen. Oh no! Okay, Yuri decides to reverse that. Oh, bit of a uh, ooh, kick to the stomach from Becca. Oh, and now Cher Yuri Chen misses. Oh, dodges out the way. Jesus Christ! These three women are like, you know, going at a faster pace. Yes, it is. It's getting uh, maniacs. And she's all oh, the hero. Oh, out goes uh, Cheryl. Okay, goodbye. Oh, and then she's the one. I guess Yuri changed her mind. Oh, nice one from Becca. Oh, reverse up the reverse. Oh, super kick. In my face. Or a super kick party. Oh, uh, now for a uh, oh reverse lip. Are you stupid? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, two. two. Oh, nearly. Go on, imagine. Uh, hey, we want some booty. Hey, we want some booty. Oh, that's different. I'll give you that. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, why yeah, yeah, yeah. not? Oh, Jesus. I swear to God, Yuri turns like a freaking cat. The thing. Oh, here we go. One. Ah, oh, kicks out. Becca kicks out of one. Oh, no. Trying to go for that. Uh... What's this? What's this? Oh, wait. Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 what? oh, oh. What? Are you kidding me? Pin! Here we go, going for another pin. One. One. Oh. Oh. I have to say, ever since the Fallen Angel tournament was announced, a lot of the women in the division have brought their A game. Somehow. Uh, all I can say is, is that, you know, they're very determined. One of them, they want to win that title from Angel. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh. Well, hit him, hit him, hit him. I wonder what Cheryl's going to do to Becca. Oh. oh, well, looks like Becca got the uh, better of Cheryl. Oh. Oh, what a catch. Oh. Drop onto the knee. Ouch. Oh. Here we go. Going for the pin. pin. One. Oh. Ah. Oh, kick out one. Yuri Chang coming back. Oh, no, Yuri. Wait, what's Yuri Chang going to do? Oh. Oh, oh. German suplex. Oh. Oh, that was a good idea, Yuri. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no. Be <laughs> Jesus, Yuri just, like, you know, flipped this shit. <laughs> Wait, what's that What? Well, to be fair, it's not PG. Oh, uh, it's going to point like the other company. Oh, oh yeah. God, help us. Wait, what's uh, Yuri, Yuri? What's Yuri doing? Oh, you daydream you used to be cat. She's a daydream believer. At the moment... Like, all three of these women, they just seem to be like, you know, going at a oh, no, slow kind of pace. What is this though? I don't know. Like, well, Yuri's going to have to do something. I mean, Becca's getting back up. <laughs> like, I don't know why Yuri's just standing there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently she waited for Becca. <coughs> oh, wait. Oh, here we go. One. Oh. I think Cheryl will try to take advantage of the situation, but nope. That didn't work. Oof. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, here we go. One, two. two. Oh, oh, my God. Man. The chemistry between these women is on fire. Shit, Luke, you just try to him again. Oh, reverse flip. I don't know why Becca's just standing there. Like, oh. oh wow, okay, now we know why. Oh wait, here we go. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Oh! I thought that was three. Jeez. Oh, as they say, Jesus. Mamma mia. Oh, in fuego. Wait. 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 If she misses again, I'm gonna laugh. God. Oh, Cheryl, can she do it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh man, Becca just, well, it just matched. Hey, hey. Wait, what's going on? Oh, power bomb. Here we go. Oh. One, two. Oh. Jesus. Oh, what? I don't believe it. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, what's Yuri Chen doing? Oh, now she does a power bomb. One, oh. two, two, three. Oh, man. Well done to all three of those women. I mean, they definitely put it all out on the line in this match. I will give them that. But, I mean, obviously, Yuri Chen was the victor in the end. Oh, God, what's wrong now, Tyler? I don't know. I mean, who, who did you want to win? It was all even, in my opinion. Well, Here is your winner, Yuri Chen. some Yuri Chen, some wins. Ah, I'm just gonna copy this woman. Ah, I'm on, I'm on. Well, she took advantage of the situation, and now she's in the semi-final. Well done to you. You're facing. Well, Tower Dyer or someone. It, it depends. We don't know yet. But oh, uh, hello, guys. And hey, folks. Um, <laughs> what okay, a match. Um, I just got heard from backstage. Patrick, you need him backstage. Well, 
Don't worry folks, I'll be back soon, but enjoy the rest. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you think, what do you think of the whole town in my mind, guys? Now I've got this stupid wheel we're coming over. <laughs> Hello, Will. Hey, welcome here. I'm glad I'm here in jolly old London. Good old jolly old London. Okay, what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm only human. Oh, but anyway, uh, welcome everyone to United Front. I'm Will. I'm sorry I wasn't there for the beginning. I was backstage working on some situations. Some academy stuff, again. Yep, indeed. Our academy, our school for the highest to create the best of talent in the, of the future. And obviously, speaking of the best of talent of the future, Travis Brunette. Definitely did a good one on John Baker, and quite frankly, well done to him in the victory. Also, Yuri Chan is the third of our semi-finalists for the Fallen Angel Tournament. Yep. All we need now is one more to fit to fill fill the void. Yes. Oh, what are you think of the show, right? I think it's all right, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. That's all right then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Coming up next is a special event. Two likely new teams are going to get an opportunity of a lifetime, and no, it's not for a championship, at least not yet in their career. They're going to be facing an old veteran in a triple threat style ladder match, but the special giveaway is there's a contract hanging up. This is your, this is what I like to call the inductional ladder match for yes. two of our future teams if they, if any of these two teams get. The briefcase, they are immediately in the main roster. Right. Yes. There's only one thing, they're going to lose it. Uh, they, have, they have no hope, they still have hope, because they can go back to Academy. Like that, we don't, we don't forget about them. Let's go to Academy, then build up the chemistry. That is true, like I said, we do look out for our talents and we will not obviously bury them and all that stuff. We will yes. give them opportunities and chances and all that other stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, also, Aiden Torres came into the show, welcoming us to the show. We haven't seen him since 101 when he won the, you know, the Pure Gate World Heavyweight Championship that was vacant. And the fact he decided to welcome the show. That's nice. Though. That's a championship that, that's a champion I would like to, to be behind on, really. Okay, then I think we're about to go ahead to the tournament. Let's match. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our triple threat employment ladder match for these two teams, except for one veteran team, is underway. We'll take you now to the ring. Let's go. I'll just press the thing. Okay, here comes the bikers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here comes our veteran team, the bikers, Al and Zandra. Zandra. Pronunciations. Al Piper and Sandra Black. Okay. Yeah. Big Nasty Alexander Piper and Xander Black. The Piper. Okay, look, okay. Um, uh, not Al Piper, it is Alexander Piper. Well, it's short for. Well, it's, a, it's his long name. We call him Al Piper for short. But, ladies and gentlemen, if this group gets that briefcase. Then two of the newer teams will unfortunately have to go back to the academy. But if any of the other teams wins, well, it doesn't affect the bikers at some any way. Yes. Okay, let's introduce one of our new teams. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh, this one's interesting. Oh, this looks interesting. Albright? They're twins. Oh. They're independent teams like IC, IPW or ICW, I mean. Uh, some Rev Pro, what culture? Yeah. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, so let me guess though, Nick and Wade obviously are known as the Albright brothers. They are twins. They're also brothers. You could call them the Albright twins, the twin foes, etc. But either way, this is a massive opportunity for them to get to the roster. Okay, yeah. But it should be alright. Hopefully they will. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they got another team to deal with. Wait a minute. One thing, though. They could be veterans, apparently. Yeah. War veterans. In what way? We'll find out. Wait a minute. Army? 
and his opponents. First, at a combined weight of 613 pounds, Gabriel Tyson and Mason Walker, the Patriots. So what do you know about this team, Tyler? I heard about they got to like the war. I, I, I was just saying, well done. Thank you again to all the veterans who helped us out. But these two came from the war, they thought they're going to help us out. They're going to be wrestlers. Oh, so they're they former, form, they used to serve the army, but yeah. because they've done so much, they you could say they were kind of dismissed in a full hearted aspect and they're becoming wrestlers. Yeah. Well, this will be an awesome opportunity for them. Yeah. So tell me again, uh, they're both American, yeah. British. Gabriel Tyson is American. The black guy? Yeah, black guy. Okay. Seriously? <laughs> hey, is there any other way Seriously? to... Seriously? Is there any other way to describe it, someone? Anyway, they're in and the ring. Magnus is English. Oh, so this is a... Well, either way, the rules are simple. Grab the ladder, grab the briefcase, and you win the match. This is Triple Threat Styles, and Al Piper's now got the ladder. Oh! oh. Backdrop by... Marcus. Marcus. Obviously. Oh! Right, you might have to go with the names of course and oh nice lariat by um, Raid. Raid, of course. Oh nice clothesline by Al. Multi-people matches is not. I'm gonna teach us, I'm gonna tell you the names. Yeah. Oh Gabriel on the route side. Dealing with Xander Black. Oh, what's this backdrop from Al Piper? Oh right on the shoulder blades. Oh yep, still to come the final of the quarterfinals for the Fallen Angel tournament. Also a main event being the number one, being a tag team match, non-title between the Swarm and the Black Dragons. Oh, nice kick by Wade. Okay, what is Nick doing? Oh, nice. Oh, nice kick by Wade. Again, too many people, too many times, but what the heck is Nick doing? I don't know. What the heck is this? He looks like he's humping his back. Oh, that hurts his back. Yeah. Oh, it's a submission. Yeah, whatever it is. That's gonna hurt in the morning. Oh, nice attack by Al Black. Oh, nice chop by Nick. Oh, nice reversal by Marcus. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, on the ropes. So far, this is our special live event. Just two weeks from tight tight from Chaos X, our extreme pay-per-view. Every match is no disqualifications and anything can happen. Our main event for that mat, for that pay-per-view, of course, is Aiden Torres' first title defense against Langdon Wildside, who succumbed and accomplished, taking, who obviously overcome a returning Tom Mercer, and oh, nice power bump, as well as, you know, John Baker. Nice clothesline by Wade. Nick. Oh, nice shot by Al. Oh, nice double hand. Oh, failed to connect that kick. Nice shoulder thrust by Gabriel. Oh, nice whatever by Wade. Oh, Marcus <laughs> is going for... Oh, nice face first. Oh, what's he doing? Ah, oh, nice headlock spinning. Jesus. Also, uh, Chaos X will be... Oh, what the... Everyone was a bloody reference now, but he's sitting outside. Zarda Blanks just got a long ladder and it's across the bloody ring and the crowd. If someone's going to fall in that, this is going to be casualty. Oh, oh, gut buster. Oh, what the hell? Gabriel's on the ladder. Oh, no. What, Al? What is Al doing? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Failed oh, to oh, connect. What's this? Marcus Walker. Oh, oh nice move by Marcus, but I'm not paying attention to Gabriel. Face first on that ladder bridge. Oh, what's he doing? Again. Oh, this time wait. This time Nick's on the ladder. Bodies are everywhere. Marcus is getting the ladder. Yep, getting the ladder. Is this his opportunity? Will he take this? He is going to take this opportunity. Oh, nice. Oh, what's he doing? Oh no, face first again on the ladder. Oh. oh. Jesus. Anyway, also for Chaos X. Into Hardcore Championship. Oh. Oh, again, Zander Black on the ladder. <laughs> I'm off. I will, I'll say this later on, because this match is getting heated up. <laughs> oh, nice flip by Wade. Nick's on the... Oh, 
Nick, oh, what is, oh, what, oh, no, no, what is Al doing? What is Al doing? DDT on the side of the ring. Oh, what's the Wades are doing? I mean, what's the Al, the Albrights are doing? They're getting the lad, they're going to get it. Oh, nice net breaker. Oh, oh. Nick's trying to get it. Zada Black's like, no, nope. you're not getting that opportunity, Powerbomb. Oh, Wade's getting oh, bamboozled there. Oh, what's the suplex? Is it suplex? Gabriel's stalling on Al Piper. Nice feet of steel on the steel steps. That's going to paralyze your spine. Oh, he's a mate. Marcus has got the ladder. Oh, it hit, it hit Wade in the back. Oh, in the face as well. Jesus Christ. Oh. What's oh. that? Marcus Wade. Oh! Face first on the steps. Oh, nice fist. Oh. Power oh. slam on the ladder. Jesus Christ from Zander. Zander's getting the ladder. He's going to set it up. Of course he is. The bikers is now going to take the opportunity. If they win it, none of the other teams are going to be made to the main, st main stage. And too soon for that. Wait, Everyone's back in Nick, the ring. Nick is trying to step up. Oh, up. nice flip there by Wade. What is Nick doing? Oh, nicely done by Nick. Outright. Albright. What's that? Nick, oh, Nick Albright is trying to do it again. Yeah, indeed. You think this is carnage, Kale Sex two weeks away. It's all carnage from there. Over the rope, Al Piper's gone. I'm surprised this is booked for this match and not Kale Sex. Sunset flip by Wade. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Obviously Gable's got the bloody ladder. Sit a ladder up. How are you doing, man? Well, using it as a weapon is more is also a very effective tactic. Oh. Oh, nice reversal by Tom Marcus. Al Piper's now striking back with the fear. He's taking that side again. Yeah, he's going to take it outside. Oh, side on the ladder as well. It's fine. <laughs> what is Marcus doing? Ah, oh, headbutting. I have got to see with that headbutting, Nick. Oh. Where's Wade? Oh, he's lying on the floor, of course. Uh, Piper now going. Put, is going around some yeah, he's going to get. He's going around the big ladder. Oh, he's going back. Oh, face on the steel steps. And he can go under it again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's supposed to serve the army. Oh he my should know. Nice. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh no, reverses on that. Oh, again. Oh. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, I'm punching off the side. Oh wait, Al Piper's got the ladder. This is now or never for the bikers. No, nope, they're back in the ring. Gable's oh, trying to... Oh. Gable's like, touch it, touch it. Oh, oh, this is... I heard of touch wood, but that's ridiculous. Oh, Marcus is on the ladder. No! I thought Nick was going to capitalize on it, but Al Piper's like, where do you think you're going, mate? No! Oh, what's Wade doing? Is he going to do something? No! Oh! oh! Broken the ladder in two! Pacers! Marcus is probably out! And he picks him up. Why? He's down. Well, I don't know. I don't control these wrestlers, but either way, Marcus probably got a lot of damage. No, he reverses it. What? Oh, Al, no. Al Piper. Boom! Wayne's Nick's been busted open. Gabriel's going for a finisher. Well, he's going for an arm bar. No, reversing. Well, that ladder we had two days till retirement until it went through. Oh, nice shoulder thrust there. Oh, no, reverses that. Zander Black. Oh, no, Gabriel as well. So, reverses. Punching. Punching. In the face. So, ah, nice lifting snap there. Tossing. Oh, Gabriel setting Zander Black up. Oh, no, nope. Nope. Black. Zander Black. Nope, not again. Oh, nice takedown. Al Piper's dealing with two newcomers. Oh, backdrop on the floor. 
Oh, what's side. What's Gable doing? Gut wrench suplex. Gut wrench suplex. And Gable's trying to do it again. Well, either way, Al's got the ladder. He's going to do it again, maybe. Air raid bomb. The Patriots are now grabbing the ladder. Marcus just used a flipping weapon. Use it as a weapon all the time. He just went through a large ladder. Give him a, give him, just give him tons of seconds. Oh. And that's the slack he got uh -oh. cut from. Uh -oh. Nick's got the ladder set up. Is he going to go and get it? Huh? He's going around him. And he hits. Oh, oh really? setting he him up. Oh, what's he doing? Nick's going for the old. Oh, great! <laughs> I want to let him. Oh my god, this is an interesting match actually, man. Well, either way, remember, whoever, if the Patriots or the Outrights wins this match, they are immediately in the main roster. The other team will go back to the academy. The bikers got nothing to lose really because they're not having any problems, but it's these two. Oh, oh what's Marcus doing? Marcus is going to go up the ladder. He's going up the ladder. Is this the opportunity of a lifetime? Gabriel's going up. No, he's taking on Nick. That's good tactics. But here comes Wade. Wade's going to try and stop Marcus from reaching the briefcase. Everyone's on the ring except for Al Piper. Oh, oh Wade. Wade's oh. hitting. Oh, stops him right there. Al, oh, Nick's pushing him. Oh. oh, right on the back. Jesus. Wade, obviously. Oh, nice reversal by Marcus. Everyone's back in the ring now. Oh, a raid bomb again by Gabriel. And a nice backbreaker by Wade. And throwing the ladder down. Like a sack of puppies. Irish whip him out the ring. Oh, what's Gabriel doing? Gorilla pressing. Uppercut. Oh, oh. oh. oh the Patriots oh. are Marcus in there. Marcus is trying again. Yeah, Marcus set oh, the ladder God. up. Use the weapon. Just use it. I got the ladder, you stupid cunt. <laughs> you can't call someone who served the country a single one. He's just blind. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Gabe was. Oh, oh, he busted our paper open. Now to use it to go upstairs. Oh, you dumb twat. Hey, they're just. They're rookies for Pete's sake. You know that they make mistakes. Uh oh. Oh, our paper's oh, got the ladder. If, remember, like, if the bikers get the briefcase, it's all over for these two. Nope. He's like, I'm not going He's probably trying to set it up perfectly, but no, Marcus stops him. Backbreaker. Oh. Okay, he's the weapon again. Ladder. Oh, look, I'm going to set up. Yeah, he's going to yeah, set him is. up. Hey. Well, he's got to focus on Al Piper and take him out of commission. Wade's out of the way. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, back of the head by Alexander Black. Oh, what's Wade, what's Nick doing? Irish repeat Al, out the ring. Wade's going up. He wants to stop the bloody bikers from reaching potential and quitting. Oh shit. Electric chair drop. Three each members out in the ring and three members outside the ring. It's anyone's game. All I can honestly say, Oh, oh, nice with the ladder. Marcus. Oh, Marcus. Marcus has got the opportunity. Oh, he's going up. He's, he's going, going up. up. Hey, Gabriel's going, going to stop. No, he's not. No. Oh, wait, no. Alexander Black's going on. What's going on? Alexander's like, oh, I'm taking on. this briefcase. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to stop. Oh. Oh, and Xander <laughs> and. Xander and Marcus. Oh, what's. Gabriel doing? Oh. Is it? Marcus has taken the boot. Take is it, he? Take it. He's going to take it. He's going to take it now. The bikers are in the ring. The bikers are in the ring. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no powerbomb by oh. Al Piper. Marcus, oh. unfortunately. I think it's You think that? Oh, busted open. Wade be bust. Nick's be Wade be bust open. Nick's in the ring. Nick's like, oh, hell no. I'm not letting you get in that bloody case. Oh, what's he doing? Yeah, pushes him off the ladder. Oh, nice, but I think that's a reversal. Knee dragon screwed by so many people. Oh, reverses out, pipe out the ring. Oh, nice clothesline by Xander Black. Marcus coming towards Xander. 
Nope, he's going out the ring. And same with Nick. It's like, what the hell? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, Zander's out the ring. Is he going to do something? No, throw it back. Oh, at least the ladder's staying put. Oh, wait, 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 Gabriel's going up the ladder. Gabriel's going up the ladder. Gabriel's going up the ladder. Nick's Will, here comes Nick. 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 Nick's done it. Oh, He's yeah, done it. The Patriots win. They've got a contract. They're going in the main event. Jesus Christ. But let's look at the replays. That was... Oh my gosh. Well done to the Patriots. Yeah, well done to Marcus and Gabriel. They withstand a lot, but also well done to the Black... Welcome to the Bikers. Well, well done to the Bikers and of course, the oh, Albright nice. twins. Unfortunately, Albright has to go back to the academy, you know? Yeah. These guys are in the main roster. Well done to these two. War veterans. Yeah. Well done to you for coming to help make us do this well. Yep. This is a great victory for, of course, the Patriots. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back yes. at the at the announce table. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you think that was hardcore? Two month, two weeks from now, I can allow to say this now because of all the all this match distraction. In two weeks' time, we have our next stage, next main event, our next event, Chaos X, a annual, well, obviously our annual extreme pay per view. Main event, obviously, Aiden Torres will be defending the Pure Gate World Event Championship against Langdon Wildside, who earned that right for a cage match against Tom Mercer and, of course, John Baker. Yeah. Also in that situation, Eric Watts will be defending the Strong Style Championship against Lex Harnage as he won his right to face him. And yeah. also, from what I found out as well, Anthony Wolf wants to take one more shot at Dallas Fort for the Inter Hardcore Championship in a Chaos Rule X Rules match, which is technically Extreme Rules, but it's just Chaos X placed. Yes, but I can't believe how that, that what match was. I just couldn't believe it. How yeah, I gotta was. be honest with you. Those three guys, these three teams, but hats off, unfortunately for me, hats off to the Patriots, of course. They got themselves a contract for the FLW main roster. The Outbright Twins, there is a second chance. Just go back to the academy, learn your craft. And as for the bikers, well, they just posed an obstacle course in, obstacle course anyway. But hey ho, we'll be back soon, guys. We're going to have a little bit of break. Ladies, yep, we'll do, and we'll catch you right soon. We'll be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for United Front, ladies and gentlemen, here in London, England. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for holding off with us while we have our break. And I'm here, obviously, William here, and here we are. we got Patrick. I don't know where, obviously, Hello, folks. Tyler is because, I don't know, I he's probably he's... finding another sponsor after the first one. Oh, he's probably like backstage in the uh, cafeteria area, just like conversing with the other wrestlers and chatting to them and stuff. And probably for the chocolate Victorian sponge cake as well. <laughs> oh god. I digress. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, obviously after before the break we had a new tag team faction that's obviously now in our main roster: the Patriots, Gabriel, and the Bikers. Micus. Sorry. Well, anyway, the Patriots are now in our main roster. Uh, as for the Outbright Twins, of course, they got to go back to the Academy and the Bikers got no problems. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our next match is the final of the quarterfinals for the Angel Fallen Angel Torn number one contenders tournament. Obviously, we already got three winners. Obviously, we have our newcomer of Taran Dyer, Beretta Long, that were done in Asylum last month. Obviously, what you what you witnessed earlier on, Yuri Chan's now in the semi-finals, and the final three will be joint. One of them will be joining those three for the semi-finals that will commence at Chaos X. Ladies, and now we're gonna go back to the ring to see who will be the fourth includer of the semi-finals. Let's you ready for this, Patrick? Oh yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Let's get the action going. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, who is the first? Nice yellow. Ooh, this is different. This is another newcomer from uh, 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 the, uh, the Academy, of course. Amaya Bailey. Yep. Well, she's definitely, uh, I have to say, she's very, um, what do you call it, happy tonight. I mean, as soon as you saw that smile on her face, Jesus, you know. Well, I don't know, but maybe after the bell, there won't be any smiling because, you know, you got to focus and everything. Well, I guess all I say for Amai is just be very careful. I mean, obviously, they have a two compared that she's going to face. Uh, let's well, just say they've got a lot of experience. Yeah, especially one that has a bitter situation with her. Well, ladies and gentlemen, she's got her hands full for this debut. Oh, I say is best of luck. Yep, because here comes the other half of a very twisted duo. Jackie Kirk, obviously from the Psycho Sisters. Last month, Melissa failed to reach that number, that that semi-final plate. Well, Obviously, having to overcome, fail to overcome Beretta Long, who won the thing, but also as a, as a Bailey a Logan, a Dyer Logan. I, I mean, to be fair, at least now she doesn't have to face her sister. Well, yeah, if, that's true. If Jackie gets in the next round. Yeah. I mean. And, oh, what's she doing? Uh, taunting the crowd, getting in their faces. Oh wow. Okay, she's really riling them up. Uh, I wonder if one of the crowds are going to sneeze on her. Oh. oh, Jesus. Get the hand gel. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Kirk, obviously. And here comes our final entry of this tournament. England's own Rebecca Rose. Got the uh, home advantage. Hopefully. Doesn't seem very popular to me. I mean, Rebecca Rose, I mean, the amount of times she, well, I was going to say the amount of times she's gone after that tile, but... From Blackpool, England, the Queen, Rebecca Rose. Well, to be honest with you, Rebecca, I mean, the, you say about, oh, I don't have to fight my sister or anything. If she wins, she doesn't have to have the option to wrestle Patera since she failed to meet up, failed to reach the semi-finals. That is true. Obviously, by Barrett along, of course. I mean, I guess that gives uh, Rebecca a bit of a, uh, a bit of an advantage, and that she doesn't have to fight her own teammate. True. But uh, I mean, wh what's your uh, picking for this match? Uh, well, Will? it's anyone's game, really. But 
I, it could be Rebecca Rose. I mean, she has been out of shot before against Angel and failed to capitalize twice. Ooh. As the other two never had that opportunity, especially Amanda Bailey, of course, new to frontline wrestling. Amala, of course, and here comes the bell. Ooh. And Jackie's focusing on the newbie. Rebecca's just standing there. Good tactic. I mean, she's just not doing anything. Oh, she's going to snap suplex by Jackie Kirk. Jeez, Jackie's really rubbing it. Oh, nice Hurricanrana by Rebecca Rose. I mean, I would probably say Rebecca's the most tactical. I mean, she has been in multi-female matches, especially mm. what happened at Exclusive. So I think she probably has the most control, but I could be wrong. Well, you never know. I mean, the wild horse, in my opinion, is Amaya Bailey. I mean, yeah. look what happened to Taran Dyer. Yeah, Taran Dyer, newcomer. But again, part of the 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 academy program, and look what happened. She pinned Jaden Sullivan to advance to the semi-finals. I mean, I did not expect that when. That oh, happened. and but oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god! I mean, <laughs> well, that's Concussion City for you that way. I mean, I knew Jackie wanted to win this, but blimey, she's coming straight out the she's gate. She's probably the t I think she's the tallest of the entire match. But anyway, uh, she's got the most control. What is Rebecca doing? I mean, oh, she's just. Oh, nice kick in the back of the head by Jackie to Amanda. I'm guessing Rebecca's just taking I mean, her time. Yeah, I mean, calculating. She is quite cerebral in a way. She she likes to... Over the rope, and Jackie's out, and Rebecca's now out the ring. Wait. What is she doing? What's Amaya going to do? No, 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 Amanda! Oh cross body off the top! Jeez, okay. I'm, I'm... Oh, and a nice fireman carry by Rebecca Rose. I knew Amaya wanted to, you know, show everyone what she can do, but Christ. Well, when you're in the, when you're in FLW, you got to make a massive impression. And she's definitely done that by flying off the top rope. Oh, definitely connected to Jackie Kirk's body. Oh, what's she do? Oh, oh no, no, no! Four oh, face first near the steps. Imagine if that was an inch closer to it. It oh. would have broken her nose. She would have ble bled like a stuffed pig. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at least. Tyler is actually happy that both Weeaboo members are not advancing due to his hate of anime. Oh god, be careful will you? Tyler might come after you later on. I don't know, but anyway, oh nice drag by Jackie to Amaya. Well so far so good, all three of these women are uh, not holding back. Oh nice counter by Jackie Kirk. I mean, will the big sister surpass his the little sister? Oh nice backdrop. And a showboat for it. Obviously, oh. Well, wait. Right. Oh. to Rebecca Rose. Oh, she's... Man, it, Jack is, it is not Rebecca's night tonight. Well, it might turn out later, but at the moment, it's all Jackie Kirk. Oh, what's she doing? Uh, oh, headbutt to the face. Ow. I would not want to be Rebecca Rose right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, here comes Amaya. Amaya. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, was she? Oh, DDT! Oh. Just almost close to falling on her. Oh, wait, she, she's going. Is she going to pin? She's going for the pin! Here we go. If she pins Rebecca, oh. that's another accomplishment. Two. Oh. Kicked out. Cool, that was close. I mean, if Tara Dyer pinned Jaden Silas, probably one of, the top, one of the strongest women in the division, like physically, mm. imagine Amaya Bailey beating Rebecca Rose. Probably one of the most spiteful ends of it. No, what did. Wait, was Sunset she? Sunset Power Bomb! Oh. Sweet God Almighty! She's all oh, right in the back of the head. Wow. Okay, Amaya's not playing anymore. Yeah, definitely. All that smiles and shit, it's gone. Oh, nicely done. Is she gonna go pin? Here we go. One, two, two. kick oh. out, kick out. Jeez. Jackie Kirk kicks out. That's a nice offense from Amaya. Low from Amaya Bailey. Oh wait, Jackie's not oh, coming nice back. Oh, nice breaker by Jackie Kirk. Irish whip to the corner. Oh. oh! Fails to connect. No water in the pool. Yeah. Rebecca Rose back in the ring. She's like, oh, oh, what's this? Oh, oh, what the? Oh, headbutt oh. to the back of the head. I crack him in the neck and. Right, she's out the ring on the aprons. Old Jackie Cook's back into full assault mode. Oh, what's she doing? Oh, she's dragging her to the turnbuckle. Oh, go oh. for it again. One, two, three, four, five, oh. go! <laughs> Oh, this is smart. I mean, I know Rebecca can be very cunning and takes advantages, but to get her out of the picture is actually kind of smart for both of these two who really need a shot at the title. Actually, I love how Jackie was going to smash Rebecca's face in, and then Amaya just comes in and drop kicks her. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. Oh, no, high kicks. Oh, oh what's she doing? Oh, no! 
Jeez. Oh, what's Jackie doing? It's all about crash course. Oh, uh, oh, oh no. What the, the voice buster? Up oh, the top. I thought she was gonna, I thought she was gonna get Spike Dudley then. Oh, what's this? Oh, net breaker by Amaya Bailey. Oh, getting in, trying to get the uh, crowd all uh, yeah, excited. Yeah, this, uh, this jolly old London, England. United front for the troops, and this is also for the troops. This comeback, Amaya Bailey. Oh, oh, nice kick there. Oh, she's going for the pin. Referee's going to take her time. Oh no, Rebecca's Rebecca. like, nope. Oh, it looked like it was Amaya's then. Yeah, Amaya definitely, very much the wild card of this group, and she's out the ring. Out you go. Oh, here comes Jackie. Oh, no. Oh, oh. nice hippie, tosty, choke slammy movie thingy. Jesus, I've never seen this side of Jackie before. Oh, going for the pin. Is this it? Will this be an unfortunate incident? Jackie Kirk is through to the semi finals. Wow, what? Okay, I did not expect that. Well, hometown here or not, that kind of sucks for Rebecca Rose, but you've got to give Jackie Kirk credit. She was in. He was, she was in it. I mean, it's like someone gave her the gave, gave her the motivation and just ran with it. Yep. That's the idea of the Fallen Angel tournament. That motive, that that encouragement. That was a good move by Amaya, uh, Amaya Bailey, of course. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Jackie's sister Melissa has a big smile on her face in the back. Well, they are sisters, so I bet she's happy for her in her giddy little way. Well, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, at least the good news is at least, you know, well, anyway, Jackie Kirk. Big opportunity for her. Creepy and kooky as always. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our fourth entry to the semi-finals is now complete. That's all four quarterfinals done. Yep, Tar, Tar and Dyer, Beretta Long, Jackie Kirk, and Yuri Chan. Ooh, we'll man. find out who's facing who in two weeks' time because it's all differently surprising. All I'm going to say is, is good luck to all four of those women. Yeah. They're going to need it. Yeah, like I said, Angel is not going to hold back when this is all over. I, I mean. Win. Oh, sorry, you say. Now you go. I was just going to say that I wouldn't be surprised if Angel's making notes on her opponents, like their strengths, their weaknesses. What about you, Will? Well, that's the uh, that's probably why she's the, still the champion after so many situations, mm. especially what happened in Brooklyn. Oh, for that yeah. six woman, two out of three falls match, which was our longest match ever. And she, and she obviously overcame the odds. Overcame the odds. Which, I mean, even now, I still think, how the hell did you win that match? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the quarterfinals are done. The remain the few the women that unfortunately failed to get to the first hurdle are now out of the picture. It's all down to four, and we'll see who's facing who in two weeks' time. But now, one match done, and another. We got another academy. What's the word I'm looking for? Academy student, graduate. Debut? Or... Debut, maybe. And ladies and gentlemen, speaking of... Yeah. Well, we won't spoil, let's just say that. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we, this will be another debut. The Union are also will be in action next. And apparently, from what happened at Asylum, there was a three-on-one match. Oh, that match. <laughs> Oh god, I felt so sorry for Dallas. Like oh, he yeah. thought he was just gonna fight Anthony, but it turned out to be a three on one match. And yet he overcome the odds. I know. Pinning Jack Aldo. And from what I've heard from backstage, Anthony got pissy. Oh, to be honest, actually, you know Nicholas Tucker? Yeah. He went on a massive rant, although no one can understand him because he was like spouting in Greek. Yeah. Well, that kind of makes sense because in two weeks' time, Anthony is getting his last shot. He's getting his, re he's putting his, re he's chipping in his rematch clause against Dallas Votta. Chaos rules, Chaos X rules. If you want to do something right, you do it yourself, oh. and that's going to be in two weeks' time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of time, it's time for our next fight. Well, here comes the other members of the Union. Not a good night for them so far. No, I mean... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, God, look who it is. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Nicholas Tucker. And from Naples, Italy, weighing in at 
260 pounds, Jack Italian Stallion Aldo. I mean, Jack Aldo, well, I don't think he's the most popular member in the group at the moment. Yeah, I mean, he's a talented guy. And the fact that he's the one getting pinned by Dallas Votta, that wasn't the plan for for Anthony. The plan obviously was to outnumber him, beat him, and then get his right of, you know, just giving like the momentum for yeah. the rematch. But instead, Jack Aldo was the one who received the pin, and of course, Anthony wasn't too happy about that. Yeah. I mean, at the last pay-per-view, I saw, I got a sneak peek, and let's just say Anthony gave Jack Aldo a massive grilling. Yeah, well, let's hope this is a motivator for Jack Aldo to go back in the good books for the Union, and probably for his own career as well. Oh, with Nicholas Tucker, the Greek bear, behind, with his corner, and here comes our debuter. Oh, who's and this? Opponent, by Marty Earl. And Wait. From Newport, Wales, in at 200 Wait a minute, who's that behind him? Dustin Don't tell me who he is. I think it is. Wait, hold on first. I mean, this is obviously Dustin Freeman, but the guy behind him. I think that's Marty Skrull. What, the founder of Villain Enterprise? I, f I mean, I, wow, I did not expect Marty Skrull to be in FLW. I mean, we're in England for Christ's sake. Yeah, but still, I mean, Marty Skrull, I mean, I mean, he's with Ring of Honor and New Japan. Like, what's he doing here? Supporting young talent, possibly. I mean, what, what for him? Oh, my God. Wow. Well, anyway, we don't want to turn the attention all to Marty Skrull, but... I mean, Justin Feeman. What do you know about him from the ac actually, academy and stuff? Well, all I know is, one, he's from Wales, and two, by the looks of him, he's definitely a, a big beefy boy. Well, that beef, beefy boy is against an Italian stallion. stallion. And, well... I mean, look at the tattoos on Dustin yeah. as well. Molly Scroll obviously outside with Justin Feeman. Dustin Freeman, apologies. Name pronunciation suck for me. Oh, nice reversal by Jack Aldo. I mean, Travis Barrett won his match against John Baker. Oh, nice charge there. I mean, Jack Elder does have an, an absolute mean streak. I mean, he's got a bit of, like, I don't know, redemption to do. Oh, oh nice reversal. But nasty oh, elbow. Oh, nice takedown by uh, Jack Aldo. I mean, Justin Free Dustin Freeman, obviously, with the tattoos and the crazy shit. And the fact he's from Wales. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, wait. Oh, oh nice face buster by Dustin Freeman. I mean, I'm not going to lie here, really. It's the fact that Aldo's got Nicholas, Dustin's got Marty. Well, I, I'll give Dustin Freeman credit. I mean, that's a big, like, backup for him in case, like, things went southside. Like, if Nicholas got involved in the match for some reason. Oh, nice reversal by at Jack Aldo. I mean, obviously, Jack Aldo's got a chip on his shoulder from what happened last month. Justin Freeman's got a lot to prove. Oh, nice oh. takedown. I mean... I mean, Dustin Freeman, I mean, obviously... Oh, we, over the ropes! Even though, we were, even though we don't know that much about him, I mean, you could definitely tell he has to Oh, he's picking quality. up Aldo. He's trying to, like, psych him up and telling him, get in that ring, you Russian... I don't know, not Russian. Italian. Russian? <laughs> I, I don't remember him being Russian. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, but... Oh, they were going to do head, both headbutts. I guess not, apparently. Yep. Oh, nice attack, nice reversal by, obviously, Dustin Freeman. Oh, nice reversal by Jack Aldo! Oh! Again, that that massive body splash. Nice reversal by Dustin Freeman. Oh, oh. nice knife edge chop! Woo! Nice head to the blow. Oh, what's that? Oh, take down and arg! Oh, Jeez! The okay, these two are really trying to, like, you know, make each other bleed. I well, mean... if that's the idea... Oh, go for the pin! One! Two! Oh. oh. Anyway, I. Uh, oh. Oh, Jack Aldo's reverse, like, no, you're not taking my advantage. I must do this for the union. Well, oh, Jack what? Aldo's def He's definitely got a chip on his shoulder after yep. what happened last yep. time. Head butting. Head butting right there. <laughs> the Italian oh. ran. Yep. Oh, it's going for the pin. One. Two. Oh. And kicks out. I mean. I mean. Definitely Jack Eldo's the aggressor of the match. And I don't blame him. Oh, nice shoulder sidebreaker. 
To be fair though, it, I mean, if Dustin Freeman gets a win over Jack Aldo, that would be a big victory, especially like with it being the Union. True. I mean, mixed results with the Union. I mean, they've had some good victories and not so good victories, but there's still quite a faction to be oh, feared. Oh, pendulum slide oh. slam. Oh, I can honestly say, oh, picking him up. Yeah, I mean, if if Jack Elder wins this match, at least it will probably all be forgiven for the union. Mm. But if Dustin Freeman wins, that's a battle! Oh, oh, right in the face! Geez. Right on the face, and Molly is happy about that. Hoot, hoot. Oh, Wait. what what's Dustin doing? Wait, what's gonna happen? Oh, this is gonna be crazy! Oh, oh my God! Right on his head! Christ alive! You could have bust him open. He could have broken his bloody neck. He's going for the pin. Is this it? Here we go. One, two, two three! Oh! My God. <laughs> oh! Jesus! I actually thought he was gonna pin him then. That was a devastating move, and Jack Aldo is give him credit. He withstands a lot of pain. He's not giving up. That's for sure. He wants to prove he's not a one-trick pony. Well. Then again, he is the Italian Stalin, so you could say that. Oh, nice trip to the legs. I wonder just, if, I'm sorry, you say. I was going to say, you say first. I was going to say, I just want, I wonder if uh, Dustin's what, like one or two moves from Marcus Oh, Carl. nice reversal by Jack Aldo. Maybe, yeah. Oh, oh, nice invisible Jack Hamill. That kind of fucked up everything. Oh, nice legs. We're picking him up. Is he going to do something again? Nope. Focusing on the arm. No, reversal oh. by Jack Aldo. What would you say at the moment Dustin's sort of fighting style is? Very much brawl-esque. Oh, oh, nice world's strongest slam. Oh, no. He's going for the pin. No, kicks out. That's oh. a road break, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I mean, Jack Aldo definitely back in control. But after that drop to the head, that's... An, oh, no. Oh. Well, the crowd's definitely on their feet. I mean, they're very... Uh, oh, kick to the gut. Oh, and very going for a comeback match. here. Oh, flippity oh. flip. Dot, dot, flip. I mean, will the villain enterprise be very encourageable for Dustin Freeman's debut here in FLW? Yep, kick oh. to the face. Well, there goes a tooth. Yep, there goes a tooth. The tooth fairy's going to be richer. Oh, what's it? DDT! Oh, lovely. Now, this is the sort of action we like to see. Oh, uh, what's, what's Dustin going to do? Oh, no, reverses. Oh, God, nearly Jack broke Old. his nose. Well, oh, Jack Aldo's going to... What is he? No, reverses! Drop! Oh! Marty's applauding. Now, can you give me a what? What? Oh, he's going for the cross face. Here we go. Going for the Welsh Valley submission. Really? Man, yeah, you never know. <laughs> I don't know. He has a wrestling family. <laughs> anyway, is, is Jack going to tap? He's going to tap out. Is he going to tap oh, out? No. Oh, no, he didn't. No, he's not going to, but. What's Dustin doing now? Oh, uh, he's taking to the turnbuckle. Oh! Reversing. Oh! He's going for the. No, reverses. Fans are on their feet. They're going wood, wood. No, reverses. Oh, back DDT. Oh, my God. These two. And a giant splash. Oh, no. Here we go. One, two, kicks out. Kicks out. Jeez. They want to win this match. Yes, fans. Do the wood, wood. Call for the police. Oh, virus whipping to the turnbuckle. Dustin. Oh, what is he? Oh, face Wait, what's he gonna do? Oh, oh. face first. Going for the pin. Here we go. One, One two. two. Ah, oh, kicks out. Oh, no. Kicks out. Oh, my God. I thought Dustin was gonna do it. Uh, whatever, anyway. There's more. Ch there's. Oh, no. Triple the legs. Oh my god. Uh, just uh, uh, Jack Aldo's. Oh, he's going for the pin. Here we go. Oh, wait, he's doing, he's using the ropes. One, two. Ah, oh, kicks oh out. My... That was close. Yeah, that was a good tactic, but failed to count the three. Dustin's literally hanging by Fred. Oh, what is. Oh. Tree of Woe right here. What's Dustin uh, got on his uh, bag of tricks? Oh, what is he doing? What's he going to do? Oh, no. No. you Please. got to be kidding me. Is he going to do it? Are you going to be kidding me? Is he going to go coast to coast? It looks like he prayed to God then. Is Wait. this the... Oh, oh my God. Fast busted Daldo open. Mama effing Mia. In bloody freaking dearie. Justin oh. Freeman... That is probably knackered him. No. Nope. No, what? Belly to belly. Are you kidding me? He just took a... Jack Aldo picking... 
and he just suffered a bloody coast to coast for Christ's sake. And he's just ah, and he's mounting a stomp and mudding his face in. Oh my God, they're practically killing each other. Marty Scrolls just wood whooping it, and Justin Freeman going for the pin. Here we go. One, One two, two kicks out, kicks out. Oh, ah, kicked him back of the head. Oh, this is brutal. Ah, kick to the gut. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Here we go. Oh. Stalin scoop. Oh. Oh. oh, is this the end? Is this going to be the end? Oh. No. Reverse. Yes. Oh. Down on the floor. Go. Oh, my God. Dustin Freeman's. Oh, he's amping him up. What's he going to do now? He's amping him up. Marty Scrolls. What were you in the back front? Oh, he's doing it again. He's going for it. He's his. going for it. Oh. oh, right in the face. Oh, Going man. for the pin! Here we go! Oh! One, one two, two, three! Dustin Freeman wins his debut! By the skin of his teeth! Oh my god! What a match! This is one of the just face first on the middle turnbuckle. I mean, kudos to both men for that match. I'm not gonna lie. Give credit to credits to Jack Aldo did go through crap for this, but oh. unfortunately Justin Freeman in his first match here in Frontline Wrestling this has been the year of debuts and oh. that was the, that was literally that, it. That was a holy shit moment. Yeah, definitely. And then obviously the final replay, I think. Nope. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Marty Stroll guest starring in managing Dustin Freeman. I think it was him that got him into frontline wrestling. But all yeah. I can say is hoot hoot! Hoot hoot! Your favourite word, isn't it? Indeed. <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Two debut victories, similar to three debuts last month. I mean, Travis won his debut. Dustin won his debut. I mean, wow. I mean, they have to be proud of that. That is... Wow. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen. As much as I like to stay put with you, I have just received information from backstage. And unfortunately for you, Tyler's returning. Well, thank you, folks. Enjoy the rest of the night and good luck. And thank you as well, uh, Will. Actually, it's me that I'm going to. Oh, sorry. I thought I was going. No, me. Ah, uh, sorry. Miscommunication. That's, Miscommun why I, that's why I said, unfortunately for you, you've got to deal with Tyler. To be fair, the way you did, the way you did it, it looked like I was going. No. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our main event's up to come, but I got to be, unfortunately, head to backstage where I'll see you in the next pay-per-view, Chaos X, for a great... Yeah, I will just hope you guys are enjoying this show. So, back to Tyler. Hi guys! Hello, you alright Tyler? Yes. Uh, I was having a match, I was having... Um, I was in the catering area having food. With um, the, all the wrestlers. And I saw, I saw that match, last match. And what did you think of it? I just didn't know what to do. I was flipping my food around, I was flipping my drinks around. I was like, for fuck's sake, come on! I bet the cafeteria was a messy place afterwards. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Oh it's my a job. god. <laughs> it's a cleanest job. To be fair though, I mean that match between um, Dustin and Jack Aldo, Christ alive, that was amazing. Full props to Dustin winning that match. And plus also, I give credit to Marty Scroll for coming with him. I think it's like Will said, obviously they probably knew each other and I'm guessing Marty Scroll must have recommended Dustin to FLW. Yep. Uh, I couldn't believe Marty Scroll. I, I didn't see him in the ca I didn't see him like you, because you had a match before that. Yeah. The former Angel. But, um, I didn't even see it. I saw Dustin Freeman. Oh, yeah. I just didn't see where he's got. Uh, he probably, like, left the building afterwards. Like, obviously, having a 
Like, oh, not straight out of the match, straight out, no, during the Fallen Angel match. I'm oh, about. okay. Oh, yes. so all like hush hush kind of thing. Yeah, I think what it's got is try to stay hidden or something. Uh, sort of keeping out of sight. Yeah. But, oh, that, that was interesting, that match. I, I think at the moment. I think that's one of the matches, the best matches of the night on my spot. Oh, I have to admit, at the moment, it's definitely up there as match of the night. But we got one more match for the main event tonight. I think it's starting side now. Two things happen. One, they celebrated afterwards. And two, they've been like, you know, training together and even like training in the academy. Obviously now they want to challenge the Swarm. This is our main event of the evening. Here we go. Champions versus challengers. Oh, Akira and Andy D locking up. Yes. But yeah, no, it's uh, I mean the Black Dragons are a really good team and they definitely dominated the Japanese independent circuit. But it feels like they're not really being given enough of a spotlight in FLW. I mean they want to compete in FLW, but it just feels like, you know, well, what's going on? Like, where's our title shot? We beat the cha we beat the previous champions. Why don't we get a shot? I mean, I, I know they're heels, but obviously, you know, to an extent, everyone deserves a shot. But it depends what the Swarm are going to do with them. Oh! I what, Chang? Oh yes, in the corner. Uh, it looked like he was going to try and hit him, but oof. Not only the uh, oh no, Akira going for a close line then. Oh, right punch from uh, Andy D. Oof. But uh, what do you think of the um, about both teams, uh, Tyler? count I mean we don't obviously want uh, the match to end in a uh, in a uh, count out as they say oh, 
We're gonna have to hurry. Jeez, that was really kind of fun. Oh no, what have Don't tell me. What have a feeling time's gonna run out. Oh no. Wait. Oh, just. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Drop kick, but obviously missed. Oh, no, reverse. Oh. Nice. Oh no, yeah, that one. Oh my god. Wait, so they're related? Yeah. The same companies. Oh my, I did not even know that. That's uh. Although, why am I not surprised? <laughs> anyway. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna stand here and apply Oh. oh Staring down Akira. Oh no, Stavo is coming in. Oh. Oh, nice left foot. Oh, Shane really wants to get to, gets the tag in. I mean, with Shang and Akira, I mean, Akira is more like the flippy sort of one, and Shang's more like the powerhouse of the group, or tag team. Oh! Okay, oh. <laughs> oh, BKO. <laughs> oh. Is Shang gonna tag in? Oh, no. There we go. Shang now coming into the ring. I mean, so far, so good between these two teams. I mean, it's not often we get to see um, the Swarm uh, get challenged, um, or I guess what I mean is, like, you know when you want a challenge, but sometimes you don't always get it, and when you do get that one person, it's definitely going to be a big fight feel. Like that, for example. Yes. Oh, nice from the uh, Shang. Oh, knee to the face. I'm surprised he didn't bust his nose open. Shane's still going. Oh, wait. Oh! Onto uh, Steve Davis' back. Oh, ringing. He's ringing in uh, Steve Davis' neck. Going for that ground and pound. Oh, even though I want the Swarm to win, there is a part of me that thinks, well, what if the Black Dragons get the upset? I mean, if they... I mean, really well, this is it. I mean, I mean, they, they, they'd be. Oh, wait, here we go. It's going for it. Oh. oh, damn. I knew Shang had a lot of strength, but that's. Oof. Hmm. I guess he wants to play around with his prey some more. Stick Davis there. Oh, well, we not going to make drop. Someone did like a Superman punch away. Going for the crab. Oh! Oh, the Zoidberg. Like you watch the cartoons when you watch this, it's like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I grew up with Futurama. Oh, wait, what's we'll still doing this, David? Oh, wait a minute! We well, saw I, this earlier! I just messed up my words! This is, oh, wait a minute! This is... This is... This is... Oh, is um, Strip Davis taking something from Dustin Freeman? Oh, wait, what's he gonna do? So fucking broke! Uh, oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, I, think oh, they, I think they took a page from Dustin Freeman. Dustin Freeman's not gonna be happy with that! <laughs> I wish we could say the white words look like Will. Oh, names. To be fair though, I think we all from time to time mess up our words. Oh my god. <laughs> As for a hero though, oh god, he's really like bleeding. Oh, well, all I say is he's definitely uh he's definitely still going. I mean a lot of people would have uh Hey, what's he gonna do? Oh onto Stuart Davis's head. Oh, to show off to the car. Oh, kick to the gut. 
I guess Andy Dean wants to support the crowd. That's how the ring again. Wonga, wonga, wonga. Wonga, wonga? Wonga, 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 wonga. Oh, <laughs> bit random, but... <laughs> Two! Uh, yeah, true. For all your random, uh, random uh, craziness. Oh, my sponsors. Can't forget your sponsors. Hey, 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 I put you in flight. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, oh, sorry, I can't do it. Let me guess, on the uncontrollable flights? Yes. Six. I don't care if he's just sick. Uh, I hope he <laughs> Oh, jeez, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, as for the action, oh, Akira. Yeah. <laughs> Dave is back into the ring. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say of that. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh! Please. Well, I guess this is uh, the way of saying like F you to the tag team champions, like from the uh, Black Dragons. As I mentioned before, the Black Dragons, they haven't got a lot of respect for the other tag teams. I mean, really, you know, they just want to come into the tag team division, take the belt, and run a uh, rough shot over the uh, division. I mean, again, they won the belts exclusive, which, you know, could have for them. and they don't want to like, obviously, well, not that it's a tile match, but they don't want to look like, you know, cheap amateurs. Oh no, the ref is down. So anything goes at the moment. Wait a minute, what's Andy D going to do? Oh! Flying missile! Well, this... Uncontrollable. Oh, no. Shang now in, in, entering the ring. Oh! Just boosting him over these heads. Wait, what's he doing? Oh! Oh no! And he reverses that. Oh, Irish with the corner again. Jeez! Oh god! Looked like he was going to burn Andy D. Oh no, wait, he is. Andy D rolls out the way. Irish whip again. <laughs> Andy D is not giving an F. You have to admit, though, the uh, swarm were very, like, you know. Wait, what are they doing? Oh my god. What? Are you kidding me? Did he really just do that? Go for the pin. One, two. Oh. What the fuck is this? I mean. At the moment, it's even Steven. What's he doing? Stuart Davis is taking his time. Oh, oh, no, 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 Oh, my no, God. No, no, What's he doing? Oh! Power bomb into the I ring apron. Fucking you. Fuck it up. Oh, I can see why the swarm got annoyed with you and catering. What? <laughs> oh, at the moment, these teams are uh, really trying to take it to the uh, edge. Oh, shut up, Patrick. 
You said that fuck that way. Thank you. Just shut up. Wait, what's he doing to Shang? Oh. Well, at the moment, it looks like uh, Andy D and Stuart Davis are literally clinging by their lives. Oh. Jesus, it's like two drunken like, sailors fighting each other in a pub. Oh, oh God. Jeez, oh, oh, they really don't want to go to the road. Oh, oh. Oh, no, oh, no, they're really cutting it fine. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is so hard to Oh, my God. Stu Davis is back in. Feet, and they're definitely invested in this match. Hey, we want some hey, we want some oh, like that. Yeah. Oh. Stuart Davis, Irish weapon to her. In the corner. Oh, and the tag. Oh, I'm not doing a side with again. Oh, it looks like they're going for a. They're going for it again. Small drive. Oh, jeez. Swarm win the match. Oh, kudos to both teams, though. I mean, kudos for fucking both teams. All I say is, is that ah, oh, the Black Dragons are so close. Sure, I just don't know it. Says, says you. <laughs> to the other tag oh. division. Uh, okay guys, that's United Fun and Oh well, true, our tribute of the troops. And what are you gonna say now Patrick? Oh I was just gonna say that obviously uh, our next pay-per-view coming up is Chaos X. Oh yeah. Trick Street Which if I'm correct is in the next couple of weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, yep. Wake up! Well that's what I said, couple of weeks. Oh you that's not doing anything really thinking yeah, you useless bitch. Is you. <laughs> uh, Anyways. That was a good fight. I, I say my favourite match was Dustin Freeman. That's, that's my opinion. And uh, I'm a couple of points out, maybe. I think for me, the two have to be um, obviously number one, Dustin, and number two, the ladder match. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, I mean, those, uh, those two matches, wow. But the other matches, kudos to them as well. I mean, everyone tonight yeah. did absolutely good All the debuts one and two, except from one. Oh, uh, but well, I know, um, it's one of those things. And this is United Front, and I'll see you next year, maybe in United Front next year. Maybe. We'll wait and see. Yes. Thank you, folks, and have a good night. See you later.